line 1 has equation this and line 2 has equation this. So we have two equations and we have to show that the lines do not intersect. So they are giving in the column vector format. That simply means uh, this is 1i, 0j, minus 1k plus lambda and ijk. That's what it means. It's a shorthand form of writing the vectors. So first step should be writing these out in the ijk format. So this should be, so this is 1i plus lambda into i. So that should be 1 plus lambda i plus, this is 0 plus lambda into 1, 0 plus lambda j plus minus 1 plus lambda into 0. This should be minus 1 plus 0 k. Remember, we can also have, we could have also written this as the column vector format. 1 plus lambda, 0 plus lambda, minus 1 plus 0. It's the same thing, this column vector format and ijk format. Uh, this is L1. Now, L2 would be, so 1 plus 2 mu, i, plus 3 plus mu, j, plus 6 minus mu, k. The first thing we do is we form equations by i equals to i because if they intersect they should be in the same position. So 1 plus lambda should be equals to 1 plus 2 mu and the equation turns out to be lambda minus 2 mu equals to 0, equation 1. And j equals to j. So here it would be 0 plus lambda is 0 and coefficient of this is 3 plus mu. So that means lambda minus mu equals to 3. This is equation 2. So let's solve this. So lambda minus 2 mu equals to 0. Lambda minus mu equals to 3. If we change the sign for cancelling the lambda and lambda. So this turns out plus mu minus 2 mu is minus mu equals to minus 3. Therefore mu equals to 3. Once we know the value of mu, we can easily find the value of lambda. And... So let's put this in this equation, lambda minus 2 mu equals to 0, therefore lambda equals to 6. So we have found the value of mu and lambda. So how do you show that the lines do not meet? There are two ways of doing that. Let me show the simpler way first. So the simpler way is for k equals to k. So let's take the coefficient of the final one. So minus 1 plus 0 and 6 minus mu. So the third equation is this. In the third equation, mu should be equals to 7. Now, in the third equation, if you put mu equals to 3, it doesn't really matter because 3 is not equal to 7, so it's wrong. And in the third equation, there is no place for lambda because lambda equals to 6. There is no place to put lambda. So the third equation does not hold true. So in order for the lines to intersect, all three simultaneous equations must hold true. If Since it does not, that means the line do not intersect. So you write, since all three simultaneous equations do not hold true for mu equals to 3 and lambda equals to 6, the lines do not intersect. This is a one quick way of showing whether the lines intersect or not. Another way would be to actually uh, find the point of intersection and see whether they match or not. If they match, then they intersect. If they do not, they don't intersect at all. So another alternate way would be, so let me put uh, lambda uh, mu equals to 3 here in L2. So if you put mu equals to 3, it would be 1 plus 2, 3 is a 6, i plus 3 plus 3 is 6, j plus 6 minus 3, 6 minus 3, k. So when we put mu equals to 3, this is what we get. 7i plus 6j plus 3k. Okay, now let's put lambda equals to 6. If we put lambda equals to 6, this should be 1 plus 6, 1 plus 6i then 0 plus lambda, 0 plus 6j, plus minus 1 plus 0. So minus 1 plus 0, that means minus 1k, 
So 7i matches 6j matches, but this one doesn't match minus k. So hence the line do not intersect. That's the other way. Question number B. Uh, we have point A which lies on L1 and lambda equals to 1 here. So let's put lambda equals to 1 in L1. So at A, lambda equals to 1. So it turns out to be OA. Remember, uh, the line is always in the position vector format. So OA equals to 1 plus lambda, lambda is 1, I plus 0 plus lambda, lambda is 1, J plus minus 1 k. So OA equals to twice i plus j minus k. So we got A. Then at the point B, mu equals to 2. So let me write it over here. At B, mu equals to 2. That means OB equals to uh, 1 plus mu is 2 i plus 3 plus 2 j plus 6 minus 2k. It turns out to be 3i plus 5j plus 4k. Let me check with the equations. So this is, this is 1 plus 2 mu. 3 plus mu, 6 minus mu. So that means this would be 1 plus 2 to the 4. This should be 5. Okay, so 5i plus 5j plus 4k. Now, what we have to do over here, we have to find the cosine of the acute angle between uh, AB and the line L1. First of all, we need to find what AB is. So since we know OB and OA, we can write, therefore, AB equals to, by the position vector rule, position vector of B minus the position vector of A. So it turns out to be, let me write this down in the column vector format, 5i is 5, 5j is 5, 4k is 4, minus uh, 2i, j, minus k. And this turns out to be 5 minus 2 is 3, 5 minus 1 is 4, 4 minus minus 1 is 5. So this is ab, the direction vector. Now in order to find the angle between the line L1 and AB, this is what it looks like. So it would be, this is L1 and this is AB. We know A lies on the line L1, so this is A, so this is B. So this is the angle we're looking for. Remember the rule. The rule is cos theta equals to direction vector of L1, let me call this D1, dot direction vector of uh, ab ab itself is the direction vector divided by modulus of the direction vectors that's it so now let's check what's the direction vector of uh, l1 so it's right over here this is the direction vector of l1 this is 110 meaning i plus j plus 0k that's the direction vector of L1. So let's start. So hence, cos theta equals to, so direction vector of L1 is i plus j plus 0k dot direction vector of AB is 3i plus 4j plus 5k divided by square root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 0 square, square root of 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square. And we have, if you multiply the coefficient of i with i, that would be 1 into 3 plus coefficient of j into the coefficient of j, that would be 1 into 4 plus coefficient of k is 0 here, coefficient of k is 5 over here divided by square root of 1 square plus 1 square is 2, square root of 3 square is 9, 9 plus uh, 16 is 25, 25 plus 5 square is 25, that is 50. So that means 3 plus 4 is 7, this is 7, square root of 2 into square root of 50 is square root of 100, that means 7 by 10. Do we have to find angle or do we have to find the cosine of that angle? So find the cosine of the acute angle between this. So that's it. We don't have to find theta. We have to find the cosine. 
So cos theta equals to 7 by 10. 